The movie opens with Diana going with her husband Dan to drop off their daughter Maddie to her college. This is the last year for Maddie, so Diana is feeling a bit emotional. After saying goodbye to Maddie, Diana tells Dan how much she is excited to finally have their trip to Italy. It's been years since the only two of them went to a vacation, but little did she know that Dan had other plans. Dan flat out tells her that he wants a divorce because he has fallen in love with another woman. And to make things worse, he is selling their house since everything is under his name, meaning Diana will be left with nothing. Deanna can't believe what she is hearing, and she gets out of the car angry. Dan asks her to get back in so he can take her back home, but she kicks the car and leaves. She later goes to her parents, Mike and Sandy, and tells them everything. Sandy tries to comfort her by proposing to make some food, while Mike angrily walks Gord carrying a gun. He then accidentally shoots it, he almost hits their dog. The next day, Deanna goes to play tennis with her best friend Christine. The two talk about how much of a jerk Dan is, and Deanna decides that she won't just sit around and let him ruin her life. Later, Deanna visits Maddie in her dorm. She tells her about the divorce, which comes as a shock for Maddie, but she fully supports her mom. Deanna then reveals to her that she is planning to join her college so she can finish her last year. Deanna quit college when she got pregnant with Maddie, and she never went back because Dan discouraged her, but now no one can stop her from getting her archaeology degree. Maddie is left speechless as she doesn't want to be in the same college as her mom, but she wants to support her too. Later, Maddie takes Deanne to her friends. She introduces her to Amanda, Debbie, and Helen, who is a little older from the others because she spent eight years in the coma. Debbie makes a great first impression with Maddie's friends and even convinces Helen to join her archaeology class. The next day, Debbie registers in the college and meets her new roommate, Leonor, who is a goth girl that doesn't like the light and doesn't live her room. Debbie is a little scared and creeped out by Leonor. She also doesn't know what the pronunciation of her name is, so she calls her by two names. Later, Deanna goes to her first archaeology class and she is joined by Helen. Deanna recognizes her professor to be her former classmate named Wayne, and she is a little embarrassed to see him. While learning, Deanna sees that Jennifer, who is the girl sitting in front of them, has a broken pencil, so she offers to sharpen it for her. But Jennifer is disgusted by her offer and makes fun of her for being old. She also makes fun of her clothes and for laughing at the teacher's corny archaeology puns. Helen jumps in to defend Deanna, but she also gets made fun of by the popular girls. The next day, Deanna meets up with Dan to sign the divorce papers. She has brought her best friend, Christine, while Dan shows up with his new fiance, Marcy, who is also a real estate agent that proposed that they sell the house. The meeting quickly devolves into insults between the group, and although the mediator tries to calm things down, things get intense. Finally, after some hours, they sign the papers and Deanna returns to her dorm sad. Later, she is visited by Maddie and she asks her to hang out with her friends again. Deanna is a little hesitant at first, not wanting to impose on her daughter, but Maddie reassures her that she wants her to join her and her friends. The group then takes her to a frat party in the college. This is all new to Deanna and she gets nervous, but the girls hype her up. But things don't go smoothly for much longer, as Jennifer again mocks Deanna when she sees her. She also makes fun of Maddie for hanging out with her mom. Deanna wants to leave as she doesn't want to embarrass her daughter, but Maddie takes her to the bathroom and gives her a makeover so she can look more party ready. Deanna, with now more confidence, joins the party and she meets with Maddie's boyfriend, Tyler. He then introduces her to another student named Jack and they hit it off immediately. They then start taking shots and having fun. And at the end of the night, we see only Jack and Deanna dancing in the middle of the now empty room. The next morning, both Deanna and Maddie walk into each other as they were both leaving out of different rooms. Maddie is shocked to see her mom and even shocked that Deanna slept with Jack. She then quickly realizes that the people she heard moaning in a weird way was her mom and Jack, which makes her more disturbed. Deanna tells her that she is a woman with experience and makes Maddie even more uncomfortable. Over the next few days, Jack continues to call and text Deanna as he has basically fallen in love with her. Deanna tries to ignore him, but he finds her while she is in the library. He tells her that he can't stop thinking about her and asks her to go backpacking through Europe with him. Deanna tells him that she is too old and busy for that. She then tells him that what they had was just a one night thing and says that they shouldn't see each other again. But as soon as they touch hands, their feelings go high again and they make love right in the library. Deanne then tells Christine what happened and she gets praised for being a bad girl. This also makes Christine heightened with erotic emotions and she and her husband make love in their kitchen. After having this amazing and exciting day, Deanne returns to her dorm filled with confidence and makes her roommate Leonor get out of her bed and also lets light into the room. She then gets a call from Maddie who asks her to come to their dorm because Debbie is panicking 
Debbie has just been to the job fair and she is now panicking because she doesn't think she will ever get a job using her major. She thinks she is wasting her time and also wasting the money she borrowed. Deanna calms Debbie and encourages all the girls to be more confident in their abilities. She also gives confidence to another girl who thinks that she will never be in a loving relationship. Later that night, the group goes to an 80s themed party. The girls are full of confidence and Deanna kills it on the dance floor. She then gets interrupted by Jennifer who tries to outdance her. But Deanna easily wins the dance battles and makes Jennifer run away from embarrassment. The next day, Deanna is in class and she is selected first for an oral presentation. Deanna densest like public speaking, and as soon as she goes out to the podium, she starts sweating profusely. She tries to wipe off her sweat with a tissue, but it just gets stuck in her face as her sweat travels to every part of her body. She tries to cool down by drinking water, but that doesn't really help, and she ends up fainting. Later that day, Deanna goes out to dinner with Christine, her husband, and their other couple friends, who they don't even like because they are so positive. But things get worse, as Dan and Marcy also arrive at the same restaurant. Deanna tries to hide from Dan, but it doesn't work. He then asks her to talk alone, but she refuses saying that he can say whatever he wants in front of her friends. Dan then announces that he and Marcy are getting married in just a week. Deanna is shocked and angry, but things turn around fast as she runs into Jack, who is working as a waiter. Jack then reveals that Deanna is his girlfriend to his mother, who turns out to be Marcy and Deanna, and Christine bursts out laughing. Christine then loudly announces for everyone in the restaurant that Deanna slept with Marcy's son. Marcy is grossed out and shocked to hear this, but Deanna leaves the table happy. A week passes by, and tonight is Dan's and Marcy's wedding. Maddie has left for the wedding, but Deanna is in the library trying to distract herself with books. She is later joined by Maddie's friends, and they take her to a jazz party on campus. The party is bust, as the organizer forgot to call in more guests, and as they wait, the girl starts eating homemade chocolate, which turns out to be weed chocolate. The girls realize after it's too late and they get super high. The group then decide to go to the wedding. Deanna is initially ready to make peace with Dan until they see posters outside that are basically saying Dan did better than Deanna by getting with Marcy. Deanna and the girls then start trashing the reception room, but before they could leave, Dan, Marcy, and Maddie find them. Marcy then announces that Deanne is cut off financially from Dan, but Deanne is more ashamed for acting like this in front of her daughter. The next day, Deanne finds Maddie as she is going out of class and apologizes. She then tells her that she is leaving college since she has no money to pay for tuition. Maddie doesn't want Deanne to quit and she and the girls start coming up with plans. The girls propose they throw a party and charge everyone money and use that to pay for tuition. Deanne is skeptical at first, but as this is her only choice, she agrees. The next night, the girls throw the party, but no one shows up. They realize the reason that no one came is because they are all at a Christina Aguilera concert. As they are are all about to give up Helen, who has 3 million Twitter followers, posts that Christina will be at the party after her show. This brings in almost the whole school, but after a while, they all start to ask when Christina will be there. Christine shows up with her husband, as do Mike and Sandy. Mike offers to give Deanna a check to pay off her tuition, but Deanna refuses to take their retirement fund. Things get suddenly hectic when Helen and Jennifer get into a fist fight. Deanne then jumps between them to stop the fight and she gets punched on her breasts, which does stop the fight, but leaves her sore. Deanna sees that the party is not going great and she also realizes that she doesn't want to take money by lying to people and she decides to give refund and send everyone home. But before anything happens, Leonor takes her to the front and reveals Christina Aguilera, who is actually her cousin. Christina then tells her that she supports her cause and she puts on a show with Deanna and the girls to an excited crowd. Sometime later, Deanna is back at the podium to repeat her failed presentation. She is still nervous, but then Maddie and her friends join the class, and they all cheer for her, which gives her confidence, and she aces the presentation. At the end of the year, Deanna and Maddie graduate together. Everyone is there to support her, and Deanna is proud of herself. Maddie then encourages her to throw her cap in the air, which she does, but it ends up hitting Dan in his face, and the movie ends as Deanna and Maddie run away. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.